good seasonally cool Arizona day. I'm doing your roof inspection. I start down here. I check along your rake and your eaves of your home looking for any signs of roof failure. Roof failure can be any signs of the wood rotting or showing signs that water's, excessive water is getting on it and starting to warp and damage your wood. I'm going to go around this base of your home. Then I can get on top of your roof and do a full roof inspection. Let me show you what I'm looking at. Starting here on the northwestern corner of your home. Not seeing any issues right here, but I did notice this on the paint. May need to have to take a look at this, but that, I'm not a painter. So looking up here, I'm going to go around the roof and show you what I'm looking at. That right there is what I'm looking for. Right up there, you can see evidence of water getting on your, uh, your fascia wood right there. So that's the beginning signs that there might be something going on with your roof up there that may need to be addressed with. So let's keep going. I'll show you what I'm looking at. Right, right here on your back patio, you have a little bit of roof damage here that's on your fascia wood. We're going to recommend that getting replaced because it is starting to split the wood and it's starting to affect the structure of the wood, possibly to the plywood. So we'll take a look at that and keep going. All right, so now I'm up on your roof getting an idea of your overall health of your roof. Um, it's going to be my recommendation that you consider a full re-roof at, at least getting the back southern slope of your roof redone. Let me show you what I'm looking at though. Starting right up here on the front portion of your home, you have some mortar mounds right there and right there that are cracked that need to be replaced. These valleys are also very dirty that need to be cleared out. Um, you have a few bro broken tile around here, but let me keep showing you what we're looking at. It's another example of mortar that needs to be redone. These things really, uh, the mortar really helps uh, hold your roof together and also prevent water from getting into places that we don't want it in. So that's gonna need to be redone at least. Okay, first thing first, I want to get a look at the underlayment on the northern facing slope. This is where it's going to get the least amount of water and sun, so it should be the healthiest looking uh, underlayment you have. You see, it's starting to curl up, has a lot of debris and dust on it, it is very brittle, so it is coming up with age. Also, you have a, a life tile, uh, just to let you know, it's from Burrell. Um, so let's keep going and show you what's looking on the southern uh, slope. More mortar that needs to be resealed and redone on your roof right here and then right there that needs to be changed up as well. You also have some dirty valleys right here and there as well as there. Okay, last but certainly not least is your southern facing slope. So this is approximately above where the leak is coming in. Look right there, there's your uh, dormer vent coming straight down from it. We're checking out the underlayment. Here's the lower part of the underlayment starting to curl up. Those nail holes are starting to pop out which is causing a problem. And up here a little bit higher, same thing, except these nail holes have come completely down. It's curled all the way up, and right there is just exposed wood. So this is going to need to be replaced. Well, I'm going to put all my findings in a report and email it over to you, and we'll go from there.